langsung kita menyetop kepunahan masal hanya dengan merubah pola pikir kita. Jadi jangan lo ngerasa lo pinter karena sebenarnya bagaimana orang rimba melihat kamu, kamu harusnya malu loh dengan cara hidup kamu yang seperti itu. Berpikirnya terbalik gitu. Lalu orang seperti ini dari Jakarta datang ke saya di rimba mengajari saya cara hidup yang lebih baik gitu ya. Bilang saya bodoh sok-sok ngajarin saya apa yang mau saya contoh gitu. Di mananya saya bisa kagum sama kalian kalau kalian cara hidupnya begitu. Sebenarnya kuncinya nggak apa-apa dilakukan imperfectly, tapi dilakukan collectively. Kesembuhan bumi itu benar-benar nyata. Kalau setiap orang mau untuk ikut ambil bagian di semua bidang kehidupan setiap hari. Hello together, selamat siang from Jakarta. Hope you're doing well, everybody. Maybe you come here because you just saw. This epic movie, Diam dan Dengarkan. And I'm living already since five years in Indonesia, working a lot for environment, with environment, just try to have an impact. Honestly, I was crying in some scenes. This movie, that got me goosebumps. It was like pimples from an elephant, not goosebumps, yeah? I was so touched by this movie, and that's why I'm so happy and blessed that I even have the chance to talk with the director, Paputra. And now I'm sitting here with one tree, but it should be much more actually in Jakarta. I just need to say this movie is, was so holistic in this approach. And uh, normally I make my interviews in Bahasa Indonesia, but I want that this gets seen by so many international audience as well, because this is not just a movie from Indonesia for Indonesia. I think the whole world deserves to see this. And uh, really, saya bangga dengan Indonesia dan saya bangga dengan orang Indonesia di sini juga yang director. He's joining now. I'm actually a bit excited to have him because I produced already, I tried to produce so many videos with impact, but he just did it. Yeah, It was just about pollution, about bringing all these things together. And he just made this and so awesome. It's always the problem how a video is authentic like this, but This video got me like 100%. Okay, we are ready, of course, with the tumbler, yeah? No plastic bottle, which is not recycled. If it's recycled, it's okay, yeah? <laughs> Let's see if he's already finished. Oh yeah, he's coming in! Yes. Okay, okay, we are ready. Indonesia, we did it. We can start, yeah? Freddy is ready, Putra as well. Yeah. That's awesome, cool. So now, finally, we made it. <laughs> Sorry for this long, long process. So I'm very proud, actually, to have you. It's one of my first uh, Zoom no recording, not meeting people in person, because you are at the moment in Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, in Australia. In, in Down Under, so we need to switch now the, the camera, so I'm standing on my head, I think. Yeah? No, no, crick, crick. But I thought it fits when I'm a bit in the nature here, with the sounds, yeah? Where are you, Fred? Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. Uh, I'm in Jakarta at the moment. Where in Jakarta? Kuningen. Kuningen. So actually, that's why I I, I wanted to hear actually. Yeah, hey, I watched your movie about that. Oh, you watched it, yeah? Yeah, I watched two 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 of your movie about that. About the police. Yeah, that's, a... that's good. That thank you, thank you. That reads a lot. Yeah, it's really like yeah, Sulusi. Untuk polusi apa? That's the question, right? I got some questions from some of my followers and some some uh, mixed uh, mixed up. I want to ask you, but first of all, I need to say biggest respect. Yeah, what you and your team did there, right? It was how many people were involved in the whole in the whole movie? Uh, in Anatman Pictures, we have twenty uh, yeah. people, twenty something. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that was a massive amount of work, I can imagine, yeah? That movie was too good for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it should be on the Layar Besar, on the, on the cinema, actually. I hope that some will show this in the cinema. Oh, yeah, I hope um, so. I think. Right? And I think I want to contact some independent cinemas in Germany as well, that they play this movie as a cinema, as a film art. Yeah? I think they should do this. What was the, the first inspiration of it? When, when did you decide, I make this movie? So this this project actually like uh, in 2000 2017 like uh, I made I made like uh -huh. 
I made like a, a short clip before. Like uh, that's what that's that's the first time I decided that I want to make a movie about environment in 2017. After I I read a book from a Zen Zen ma- Zen master Thich Han, if you know, like a mindfulness uh-huh. teacher. Yeah. yeah. So so his uh, he 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 got a book called uh, A Love Letter to Earth. Surat Cinta untuk yeah, Bumi, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I I read that book and then and then like uh, it really touched me deeply. So I can be myself independently, like everything is interdependent and, and everything like that. So that's like, that's the first moment. So if you look at our uh, our YouTube channel, if you if you yeah. look at our Instagram uh, Instagram and and YouTube, there is like a teaser. Uh, Love Letter to Earth will be published in 2019, but it never got published. <laughs> Because we we're always we're always busy with like commercial work and everything, right? We we're ever, always busy with life. Our, like our our passion project always become a, a second priority. That's a very good point. We say it as well. The in Germany we say the shoemaker has the worst shoes. Yeah. So actually we have so much what we want to do our passion project, but unfortunately we always need to chase. Yeah, I don't want to say like, but but we want we need to chase money as well sometimes to survive, right? I mean, to yeah. uh, we we sometimes get uh, stuck in all this daily work and forget ourselves and forget the nature. Yeah, please uh, please follow their Instagram and uh, and YouTube as well to see their work. It was really you could not stop watching, you could not stop. Yeah, did you have any key decision moment where you think? Uh, which for me it was, for example, when I was bringing my family to um, to Gili in, in Indonesia, and it was all polluted with plastic. That was my key moment when I said I become more environmentally aware. Did you have a key moment like this as well, or was it like slowly? What was for you like this moment where you said, "I need to care more about environment"? No, I think I think it builds. It builds. Uh, it, it's accumulating in me. Like a uh, build slowly accumulated so yeah. there is no like a like a, a magic moment like moment of epiphany yeah. there's nothing like that i think like yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's from all the stuff. things we watch all the things that we read like all the uh, all the exposure around us so that's that's why i think it's important to to give like a lot of exposure about the environment just like what you did right like it's very important also right like everything that that like doing uh, content about environment like uh, they're they're doing their part for the earth i think really yeah. important yeah, work Yeah, I try as well to to make content, but I know actually, if I would make other content, I would get more views. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Bule yeah. Makan, uh, bule makan ini, bule reaksi ini, right? It would maybe get more views. Yeah, for but sure. I don't care. I, for me, it's just now important, as you said, with that it comes piece by piece, step by step. Yeah. Right. So I think we are together on the on the right track of doing it. If uh, it it will come with the time. Yeah. Like I know you fight very hard like the last years to make excellent content, but now finally this gets like the hundreds of thousands views and I hope millions. Yeah, I really hope that it gets the million is coming soon, but I think this should get tens of millions of views. That's why I make the German subtitle. Yeah, soon finish, soon finish. No, th- <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Red. <laughs> Alle Deutschen, bitte gucken, okay? <laughs> All the Germans should uh, should watch it. Oh. <laughs> um, I hope, and, and I really have to say, of course, it's in Indonesian, but I think people, it's a wonderful language. This is the first thing. And I think the messages are so, it's not a very rush movie, which like really that you don't understand. I think you can visually, you made it very well. And my biggest respect. Visually, you made it very well that even if um, it's not your main language, Bahasa, or if you don't speak Bahasa Indonesia, kamu masih bisa paham. You can still understand. But still, we make the, the some more uh, subtitles for them. Um, and I need to say, the voiceover was epic. Yeah, that was Christina Hakim, right? Yeah, Christina Hakim. <laughs> Then. Um, I, I met her once in a movie premiere. She's so it's really uh, for the international audience. That's one of the best you can get for a movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had sometimes goosebumps just by hearing their voiceover. Yeah. Um, yes. And then yeah, I think Eva Celia, right? Yeah, Eva Celia, Andin, uh, Dennis Adiswara, uh, Arifin Putra. Yeah. yeah, we are very lucky. Like uh, they they are uh, willing to volunteer for us. Like uh, for uh, volunteering yeah. their time and energy to narrate this, and then. 
because they they all have like the same vision, the same vision about environment, like uh, yeah. same vibration. Yeah. So I think it's uh, it's really really we're we are really really grateful to to have them uh, working with us. Yeah, that's why I was so surprised as well, so positively surprised because I met Nadine Alexandra as well. If I if I may ask, how long did the whole process take from um, shooting day one till till the publishing? Uh, actually, th there is no shooting at all. Like the process is uh, like we're using a lot of uh, Creative Commons and then uh, public domain footage, and then uh, we're using like a fair fair use fair use in our movie. So. There's no shooting like the the uh, the, the the shoot that we did only through Zoom call, so Zoom call like this, like <laughs> exactly this, like this, yeah. Gak langsung ada berita, oh, langsung forward ke grup ke temannya. Actually, actually yeah. it helps a lot with Zoom call because I can like reach a lot of people in different part of the world, like uh, with True. me in Australia yeah. and then like uh, some of the crew, some in uh, East Jawa, some in Central Jawa, because everybody going home to their kampung, right, during this time. Yeah. Yeah, and then like uh, I can reach uh, Prajna, Prajna Murdaya in Singapore, awesome. and then yeah. like uh, Butet Manurung, his uh, she's in Australia also. So, yeah, it helps a lot True. actually with Zoom with technology. Yeah. Mm. But in the end, it's better than traveling to everywhere, right? So that's why even I, to be honest, I, I unconsciously I thought there's a shooting. There was a shooting, but you're right. It was mm. mainly putting the best of the best yes. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Less carbon footprint. <laughs> yeah, but this deserves even more respect, I think, because you had such a puzzle to work with, so many footage, and to bring this in a story, this exciting. That's Great. like, I think, yeah. I think uh, that's the hardest part during the production, you know, like, uh, like yeah. have, having to, having to, you need to, to, to be really concentrated so you can, you can really, you can know what what's what the visualization that you want for the movie i think that's really important like, and then and then we we have like uh, six editors right working oh. side by side <coughs> yeah so wow. that's uh, six brain so it it makes a like a impactful imp impactful thinking also i think yeah and that's um, from for me it's it's always very hard because the to put this brains together yeah to yeah, that's, uh, that's a fun to make this into one, this is massive work in terms of coordination. I think that's yeah. uh, that deserves respect. And then that was all local editors, right? Yeah, local Indonesian editors, editors. All Indonesian right? editors, yeah. 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 Uh, because this is our first time also, right? Working, working like uh, remotely like this. So <laughs> we like a lot of friction. We have a lot of friction, and then like a uh, uh, a lot of emotion also <laughs> during the the process. Yeah. I can imagine saya sering marah juga jika edit video. <laughs> when I edit the video that you get really sometimes how we can make this happen. But I need to say because I've worked now with a lot of Indonesian editors as well. This is I mean we really have here a high talent base of editors and of yeah of in, in general in the movie industry in Indonesia I would say there's so much huge talent which I think deserves to get more abroad and to get more exposure outside. Because what I, for example, do, I would not be able to do it without Indonesian editors uh, who put so much creativity sometimes in it. Was it more made for the Indonesian audience in the beginning? Or did you have the intention as well that it maybe goes really global, international? Yeah, no, this is uh, purely for Indonesian audience, for, for me, for me personally. All, all like uh, most of Anatman content is uh, for Indonesian audience, even though like uh, I, I'm yeah. sure like uh, international audience can also enjoy it. I think I, I just like filter it, filter the information and then like yeah. uh, re-narrate it for Indonesian audience. Because Indonesian audience this? Is, hmm, is the one that really need like this message, this, this filtered message for them, I think. Yeah, this I think you're, uh, of course, the, the um, information was out of there. But I think this art, yeah, to bring this information, to gather this information and bring it into this, yeah, epic, um, in, into one piece. This is, this was not often done before. And that is the art of having real impact, I think, to society and to, to environment. If you can explain it in a simple but educative and entertaining way 
all in one. Oh, the prayers are coming, but I think it's okay, yeah? It doesn't matter which religion, where he is coming from. You hear now the prayers, yeah? Should see this, uh, should see this movie. Do you have a message for the international audience as well who is watching now? Uh, yes, I think I think it's quite important also for for international audience, especially uh, people in the Western countries. If you watch the movie, like uh, you you will understand that there is like a four 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 level of countries in the world now. There's like a level one to level four. There's no, there's no like develop and developing world anymore. Uh, it's it's really important that that uh, people from from like a level one to three to learn from level level four countries like uh, like Australia, like uh, like German, like uh, like like all the all the uh, all the all the level four countries in the world, because because uh, all the all the environmental problem that already happen in the world right now is actually like uh, inherited from those level four countries. You know, it's it's not like a. Plastics and, and 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 energy and everything is not made by it's not made by level one to level and level three countries in terms of yeah. like science and everything we need to learn a lot from like a level four countries about how to tackle the global warming and everything but true, true, but yeah. the level level four countries need needs to also like the western countries need to also learn like more about the philosophy of life things like that all the basic idea of making making uh, people comfortable with their life. Like capitalism and everything is is all it's all based from from a uh, level country's ideology and philosophy. So I think uh, it's really important that uh, we in uh, in the level three countries as Indonesia need to learn from level four countries how to how to solve problem using using the mind of uh, level four countries. But also for uh, international audience, I think it's really important that uh, they understand that you are the one that making this problem in the first place. You know that's 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 what I want to say to to the to people in the level four countries. And then if you if you now now a lot of a lot of like a mindfulness course and yoga and everything in, in Western countries and it's it's all came from East, Eastern philosophy, you know, like everybody is going back to going back to to understand like a, oh I am part of the nature I am part of the universe it's all it's all it's it 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 was made by by the by the by the Eastern mind so like a, uh, with this film I think I think uh, it's it, it's a good balance between all the scientific all the scientific uh, fact facts that that uh, that I presented in the movie but there's also like uh, the, the balance of the eastern philosophy and an uh, eastern way of life that's that's really important for every human being in the planet I think that's <laughs> yes and I think that even Indonesia can teach the higher level countries I don't like this level thinking in levels yeah so I just say like that Indonesia can even teach a lot of Western countries how to do things. I think if we fight hard enough here, yeah, I think that even Indonesia can make things much better than in, in the Western world. And I already think so. For example, the volunteering rate in Indonesia is much higher than in, in for example, Germany. So that's why oh, yeah. I'm, I'm here as well, because I'm so proud of so many. I mean, there's so many great NGOs, so many inspiring people here in Indonesia that inspire me so I always say Indonesia made me a better person too by the way uh, your 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 movie are you making a longer movie for that uh, air pollution yeah I want to I want to do one but I can can tell you sometimes I got then critique start to blame I think people from this pollution movie feel attacked that I made it as a foreigner I'm not sure if I should be maybe more diam <laughs> to be honest when because I face some critique then as well so I I prefer even sometimes to be sometimes I honestly think about to stop it but then I think when I became when I become way and E they will stop doing this when I really become Indonesian this haters will be DM yeah and this is interesting as well we see of course that the movie get some dislikes as well yeah 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 <laughs> where do you think this comes from 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 your side is it the the people who is really i mean we know who's the bad guy it is our greed for money right in the end um but who, what do you think is it in in your point like the haters for yes. liam dan dengarkan yeah. yeah mm. who, who dislike the video for example yeah 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 like uh, i think i think uh because uh, this film making making us feel un uncomfortable like a lot of a, lo yeah. a lot of a lot of people uncomfortable with with the the, the other this is like giving you a different glasses right like a 
Yeah. So, oh, oh, so there's uh, another way to see things, like another way to see religion, another way to see like uh, where humans come from, another way to see uh, like uh, our greed and everything. Sometimes people people cannot accept it, right? Because Correct. like uh, uh, it's, people got got uh, doc like kind of like doctrine in certain ways since they were a kid. Like this this is how you this is how you view, view the world. This is how you view yourself. This is how you view your countries. Things like that. This is yeah. just like a film to to really see everything. Just see everything as they are, like a, without any labels, without any religion labels, without any, without right. without country label, without without any cultural label. I think like this is like a you you just you just see yourself as a person, as a human, as a as a as a living thing. Just the same as you, like the trees behind you, it's just the same as you. Some, yeah. some. The trees behind me. Tanpa hutan. Tidak ada biodiversitas. We enter Islamic prayers behind me. I enjoy it, even to listen. I mean, it's just like we adapt to where we are. I just, I'm, I'm a part of it, right? We are now a part of it. Apalagi agamamu atau Tuhanmu. There are so many positively infectious people with their good care who make you a better person. This is just from my side. So it's, I even don't think that only like the, some technology we can bring from abroad but I think it's like the mix of togetherness, right? That together we are strong. Don't want to quote Star Wars, yeah? <laughs> and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. But uh, Star Wars, yeah? Hello, semua. But, but I think that together we can, we can go this way. And Indonesia can be a role model for, for others, yeah? Because Germany don't have the single-use plastic ban as well. It's just coming now, yeah? So I think Indonesia will take over and can be a role model for the world if we, like you, get more people to change their mindset. Yeah, onto yeah, beruba on mindset. I think people like you really achieve it that people change their mindset. That's really fantastic. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think if you think about it too much, I think I think not only haters, you know. I think uh, the one thing that really need you need to be mindful of is like don't ever fall in love with the numbers you know like uh, don't fall in love with like uh, with your contents even even like uh, i just realized that also after i i finished this diam dan dengarkan and then i keep uh, looking oh what's the number today oh what's the comment today and then and then like, after some time and then i feel like oh i feel like uh, it burdens me a lot you know all the comments and everything so i think i will I, now now I, now i'm just like uh, making our uh, my next documentaries while doing like uh, promotional materials and everything so uh, haters, I think, will 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 always uh, be there. Be there. Yeah, we always say haters gonna hati, yeah, hati for the heart, yeah. So that um, in the end, that uh, for me as well, it helps sometimes when you get critique, it helps to improve as well. Yeah. For example, I got some critique in my past as well. It helps you to become a better human. When it's not yeah. when it's not like wrong information, then I think it's it's good. Like like this film, like Diam dan Arkan, it it makes. It makes a lot of people feel feel un- uncomfortable with uh, with their point of view, with their with yeah. their way of life, with their with their belief, uh, like uh, like uh, with with the thing like that I am special, something like that. That's that's really re- really hard for some people to 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 get the idea of like uh, seeing seeing yourself uh, as it is, you know, seeing seeing the yeah. world as it is. That you are just like a living being, like uh, that live on earth. That that. You are part of the nature, same as the trees behind you. <laughs> yeah, and the, the airplane above me, yeah, <laughs> which is polluting. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we are just a small part. Yeah, we are just a small part. Kita adalah bumi terdiri dari banyak makhluk, gitu And then ya. even if you see like, a, oh, there's this bad guy, there's this good guy. Like if you start separating, there's a good guy and bad guys, then then you cannot really see everything uh, as they are you know when you see everything as they are uh, there's no perception you know because all i all all we are all we are as a person as an in, as an individual is only like a collective memories and per, uh, perception right right yeah so. and and you you very you you said this with us now it's important who is special whatever because you had it in the movie ada yang popular ada yang tidak ada yang kaya Ada yang miskin, ada yang populer, banyak yang tidak. Right? Yeah. It's so it's not important even like 
Do we get the likes? Do we get the clicks? Of yeah. course, it gives a bit endorphin, but yeah. in the end, it's not, in my opinion, important if you're famous or not. It's just important that you do care and try to be a part of the nature and to make a change, right? Or what is your opinion on that? I think, I think, uh, for me personally, I think like uh, uh, fame and money is, uh, is, is a second priority once you can discover yourself, you know, like once you can, you can see everything and yourself as, as, as it is. Like, uh, yeah, yeah we, are, we, are, we, are, we are, we are, we are nothing, like uh, we are nothing in this universe, but we are, <laughs> We are also everything. So, so like uh, when you see yourself as only as everything, then you will exploit ex exploit everything in the world. But if you can see that yourself also 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 nothing, also nothingness, then you can understand. That, oh, then then uh, everything is already beautiful as the way it is, you know. Yeah, that that's a very wise one. Yeah, we should not see ourselves too much in the focus by ourselves. Yeah. That's why what, what, what taught me Indonesia a bit as well with all these individuals or um, you cannot be like an influencer or influencer. <laughs> Influences. This influence may turn into a an influenza, like a flu, like a virus. Uh, alone, you, you can always be only be strong if you're together and if you, if you really... Yeah, yeah. If you work together, yeah. You know so, in, in, in uh, Batak, have yeah. you been to Sumatra? Super Batak, Hassan. Yeah. Horas. <laughs> But you know, you know, if you go to Batak, like when I'm uh, when I'm yeah. filming there, like people don't don't even call people by name. You know, they people by the the family name. So if you have like the, this family name, uh, let's say like uh, Pangaribuan. So yeah. so this this person like uh, will be known as Pangaribuan. So so there is no I there. So, but I'm still confused wow, how how cool. how you can differentiate between person if you call, call everybody only the family name, you know. <laughs> but they but they understand, but they understand and and they can communicate well, you know. Like the first name awesome. is not important at all. Like the second name, like your clan, your family is more important, something like that. So that's that's a wow. uh, uh, amazing things that I learned from Batak. <laughs> wow, this is I always say Bataku, but there you teach me something uh, as well. Awesome. Yeah, it's really Mauliate, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, are you from Batak or not? No. Ah, from, from Jogja. Okay. Maturno won, yeah? <laughs> We don't want to spoil so much. Yeah, but I think your movie, what, what I wrote down after I watched it, normally we say like the three R is important, yeah? Like reduce, uh, recycle. Wait, what was the third one? <laughs> reuse, reuse. <laughs> reduce, no, reuse, reduce, recycle. <laughs> Yeah, normally it's all about the three R, but I think your movie really got the... The three E as well, yeah? It was emotion, <laughs> ecology, and... Education. <laughs> yeah? Uh -huh. So this is what, what I like about this movie, that you make the three R into the three E, yeah? And, and that was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, we, we just talked about it as well. I, I wrote down like... Why are we humans actually to blame? Yeah, even when all species are unique. Yeah, that's that's hard to say, yeah. But yeah, in the end, we are the people to blame, right? We are the... Uh, in the end, humans are the ones to blame, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I think about this, like, about this question a lot, you know. One, one, one of the books that really inspired me is uh, The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins. It's, it's talking about the, where humans come from, like where... where that we are driven by our genes and everything. And then there's like the, a chapter that called the extended phenotype. Extended phenotype mm -hmm. is, is actually like a, if you, if you see like a bird, like when they, when they, when they, when they born and then they can, they can yeah. already, they, they, they can communicate with the, with their surroundings, you know? So the gene is not only, uh, it's not only something that you pass to your, to, to your, to your child, to your grandchildren, but it's also, uh, uh, it's also a way of, uh, of, uh, A species communicate with their environment so for example like birds all birds yeah. will will make a nest and then you, uh, if you see otters otters will make a will make a dam right with the sticks True. yeah yes. and then humans humans have like a more complicated extended phenotype this is based on richard dawkins eh? uh humans yeah. he, uh, the, the it's, it's very complicated they have houses they have clothes and everything and then they have now now, now everybody have cars and everything so uh It's it's complex, like uh, like the 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 communication between humans and the environment is more complex than any other species. But it 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 doesn't necessarily a bad things, you know. Like uh, 
it can it uh, we can we can do really good things to environment and we can also yeah. exploit them also so so it's it's just a, a very complex so, so human being not right now of course like uh, they're responsible of the global warming and everything because because of their complexity but their complexity also developed by the by the by nature by the evolution for millions of years right so yeah yeah i think uh, for now if you want to point some somebody something okay we can point human but like uh, we need to understand the complexity that we can do better for nature also correct because we are striving of course for happiness always and i have the feeling sometimes some humans see this happiness in money in more materialistic things so i can yeah. we can understand them even myself sometimes i enjoy to drive a german car yeah, yeah. is it good for the environment always no not always but at least it's about to have more for the good side instead of uh, compared to the bad yeah? yeah so i think every human has it under control to do more good than bad for the environment and so we can achieve the way up to a better to a better world yeah. but there you're you're completely right what do you think about this um, altruistic companies in, in general do you think we are it's not yet enough right or how do you see it so, um, I think I think uh, I'm quoting I'm quoting this from from uh, uh, the founders of uh, Waste for Change. Oh, they are awesome! Shout out to Waste for Change, awesome guys, awesome guys. Uh, so yeah. so he 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 told me once like uh, uh, if you wait if you wait for like the government to act if you wait for like the for like the self awareness of everybody it will take very long time you know. Like the the best thing that we can do right now is like for business people to lead the way, to lead the way to 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 really uh, build like an altruistic brand, altruistic service to the environment. That's that's really important. Like if you yeah. if you if you if you watch at the movie, there is like a lot of inspiring business people there, right? It's, there is like yeah. a Sano from yeah. Waste for Change, and there is like a Burr Greens. Burr Greens. Yeah. Burr Greens. I yeah. saw. Yeah, Don't like a, I order very often. Yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> because now now like everything everything is all about money. Like all this all the 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 system that control our world is capitalism. So we need yeah. to really utilize that. Like as a business owner, business business people, we can really make a, a really good impact to the society by doing our business yeah. right. Oh, you know, Anita That's Rodic, it. they said that business as unusual, not not business as usual, but business as unusual. Oh. <laughs> That's the best quote. That's a good quote, yeah. Not business as usual. Business as unusual. That that's good. And I hope I can get more PHP, yeah. Kepada kamu, yeah. Tapi I start a new business as well uh, in August, September, and it will be altruistic as well. Tentang solar plastic sekali pakai. Oh, that's good. Uh, so I hope uh, I can show you about yeah, this. Yeah, I, I think it we should collaborate change. sometimes, Fred. I think we should collaborate, like making some movie yeah. or what. <laughs> Do you actually know I'm in your movie? Do you notice I'm in your movie or not? No. What? <laughs> Our movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, not a not not my face because my face is not important, yeah. And uh, but I noticed myself at first when I watched it like the first time like three weeks ago. I did not notice like directly, but then after a while, it, it I think it was minute thirty. Karna lu pakai single plastic, lu akan selalu single pasti. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that was my. Uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you. <laughs> I just because one of my friends they tagged me in Insta story Fred ini kamu yeah it's yours yeah. So thank you that made me very happy yeah. <laughs> yeah because I was very uh, I was often in 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 Java as well and I really have to say that I. I enjoy some of the the sayings what they have in Java, yeah. Kalau uh, kamu orang Jawa ya, yeah? Jogjakarta, right? So it was like yeah. what I wrote and like jagat ali ting dewe. It's like our small word, yeah. Our dunia kita kecil, right? And then rimo ing pandum. Nerimo ing pandum, menerima apa yang sudah ada dan diberikan dan terberikan untuk. Re like receive our part, right? What what do you mean exactly with this? Oh, but that was in the movie. Uh, towards the end okay so uh this is this is based on uh, japanese philosophy like a uh, like a uh, uh 
we we as the we as the we as a human is just a small part of the universe but we are also the we are also the center of the universe like a like a everything everything inside us if you if you if you watch on on episode 6 also you can you can realize that yeah. even even inside us like there's a lot of living beings you know in our in our uh, digestive system there's a lot of bacteria there's a lot there, there's there's a lot of fung- fungus there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of living beings live inside of us kita adalah bumi terdiri dari banyak makhluk gitu ya bakteria virus prion cacing parasit parasit yang lain it- and then we cannot even live if there is no bacteria or, uh, inside and and uh, on top of our body so i think i think uh, that's that's the way to see it from a biological perspective but like uh, from from a larger perspective you can see that that everything happens from your mind you know like all the happiness you you always complain about like a uh, we we always complain about like a uh, oh uh, the world is not good like uh, the world the world is bad and everything it's it's it happens because because of your because of of your own uh, point of view in uh, in seeing the world you know once you see the world full of love then you can see that uh, the world is really a loving place you know it's it's really yeah. a hopeful place so it starts from yourself then it will reflect to your surroundings and it also happens to 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 uh, vice versa like if you if you if you live like in in a bad surroundings with pollutions and everything it will it will impact you impact you as an inv- individual also it will impacts all the cells in your body you know yeah yeah we talk about the pollution yeah it's at the moment still unhealthy here in Jakarta this is the pollution measurement it's still unhealthy yeah i haven't changed it after one year after the video yeah so you see it's at the moment it's still unhealthy yeah because we have one in our office for our documentary we have one in our office installed but it's not portable so it's like uh, only installed to the to the wall yeah yeah unfortunately this is uh, we have air purifiers and everything and a lot of plants of course yeah but um, i think we need to tackle it a bit from the from the source yeah but as i said we are all stress we are all striving for the money we are all striving to get moving and of course then sometimes we choose more often the car we in the end we we still consume a lot so yeah it's a hard circle to get out but i think what you explained before as well there is a chance to get successively out of that yeah you talked about covid-19 about about corona corona sering dianggap sebagai waktu bumi untuk beristirahat covid-19 sering dianggap sebagai waktu bumi untuk beristirahat. So that actually the world can take a break. But as you said correctly, oh we don't want to spoil, yeah, but yeah, uh, as 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 you said, um but what's after, right? So now the world takes a break. But how how do you see it now? How after this break when I I like it actually that people get more connected to the nature now. I see lots of friends now having more plants in their room getting more connected had the time to reflect and as you said before the mind is controlling how we feel yeah i think more get now into meditating more get into self improving yeah which is more like a trend but at least they get they they talk more with themselves to themselves not only to others and uh, and to yeah to the to the nature how how do you think now post covid will we just continue as it was before or do you think we became better what is your opinion on that i, I cannot i cannot i cannot uh, say my opinion for other people but for myself yeah true i i feel i feel i i become more, more mindful now like uh, i i have like a lot of time to reflect i uh, i have a lot of time to listen to myself to listen to the silence and that that's why like the dm and dengarkan is also a uh, come from the from the silence that i had during this month like uh, you everything is uncertain right like a uh, day by day is not certain like uh, we we don't have any jobs you know for like five months at all like zero it's, it's like a very depressing for a, for a company right because we have like 20 something people and then some people need to get laid off so it's a, it's it's a hard time for us also But it's yeah, also in the, in the same time like it gives us time to really reflect what's what's the true meaning of your life you know what's the priority in your life that's I think that's that's a good thing and I think if we can if we can keep uh, if we can keep having that state like bring 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 that state into our daily life even after corona I think it will 
it will imp- uh, it will give a direct impact to the society to the world like just being mindful in everything what you do you know like uh, in every moment just being mindful like uh, with your every step every breath every choice of your food that's really important that's 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 i think when, once you can be mindful in small things that the uh, trivial things that you think it it doesn't matter at all but it it actually matters for for the for the whole universe you know in in a, in a way that you cannot imagine perfectly summarized and you as uh, i like the quote which is actually silence is as important as sound yes. yeah because our world is so noisy and we always just listen to the noisy yeah because the loud people win the elections very often we don't say any names right this is of course a pity of this world that unfortunately you need to be sometimes loud to get the attention but in the end the silence and as you just explained so nicely is is even i think it's getting more and more important yeah uh, so that's why the, the title maybe we put this even at the beginning yeah diam dan denkar kan it it means actually like yeah shut up and listen right would you translate it into this or is it more soft no it's a be quiet and listen we we want to quiet, yeah <laughs> we want to put it shut up but but then my wife said like uh, no no that's too harsh just put be quiet okay yeah, it's a bit too a bit too kasar yeah, yeah. It's for me myself as well sometimes just be quiet and listen listen to the others as well who has good ideas and often people who you don't who you maybe not expect to give a great idea but actually if you would listen to these people who maybe don't get the attention from the society yet but if you would if we would listen to them more often the world would be better yeah i want you guys to be all in yeah. and the only disability in the life is a bad attitude yeah. i see it sometimes even here like very small ngos in indonesia they may be not so famous and have not so many followers but the content what they are doing and what they actually saying is is much better than so many big uh, corporations and individuals sometimes yeah but we should never compare yeah this is wrong as well to 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 compare harshly but this is just what i want to say that even some people who are who are not here yet sometimes we should try to give a chance and listen to them yeah who maybe don't have 1000 viewers on YouTube. It's like the sympathetic, yeah, fight or flight or the parasympathetic which is rest or digest. So from who do we need more or is it a balance? I think we need to we need more we need more parasympathetic uh, nervous system because if you if you just follow yeah. your your uh, sympathetic nervous system it's like it's very easy flight or flight is already innate in our nature like uh, If if you want to yeah. learn to be peaceful to be calm it's it's a bit hard like uh, you need to be mindful with yeah. your breath like uh, just 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 like uh, watch your breath watch your mind that's like a uh, that's the most important thing i think so uh, if you yeah. think it's a balance yeah i think it's a balance but like it's it's hard to balance that it's hard to learn to be mindful all, all the time we all get carried b- with our emotion all the time right with our thinking planning for the future regret of the past yeah. that's always happen then it always brings it always brings like a uh stimulation for our for our nervous system if we learn True. to stop to just uh, silence to to stop and silence i think that's a wonderful way to really appreciate life to enjoy life when you can empty your mind a bit that gives so much peace and more focus for the more important things that's really a um, fantastic point That's what happens you know during diam dan dengar, dengarkan like a lot of times yeah. i just like uh, just sit you know just sit because i meditate right i meditate a lot so i i i, I do a lot of meditation during this uh, pandemic like more than usual and a lot, a lot of a lot of like uh, ideas coming like uh, because when you just silent like your mind becomes clear there is nothing spiritual there is nothing supernatural i talk about meditation it's just like a uh, just silent watch your breath that's all and then your mind becomes clear and then you can work better that's all for me yeah great i hope that you can really i think you already inspired some of the listeners to to try it and um yeah i think a yeah, huge uh, inspiration i think i would uh, i'm happy that we can still make the interview because in one year you're too famous <laughs>
yeah that i think that's all like uh, mostly is is the film is about uh, mindfulness right like uh, like yeah. being aware self awareness mindfulness and our connection with the nature so it's not talk, not, not like talking about like deep environmental issues because like if you want yeah. to watch like a deeper documentary you can go to diamdengarkan.com and then you can see a lot of like recommendation yeah. of uh, documentaries yeah I, i would i would even say for the for the world this deserves to be seen by so many other people because i think it hit it hit the nerve it hit the nerve on the good spot and i think this was not luck you made this by intention <laughs> that was really respect how you put this together and i think this can inspire so many people who watch this It's so hard to make content which inspire which inspire people to change but i think this movie is one of the view that can really trigger a change and we give of course more Um, we put in the comment section we put some more um, recommendations right your book recommendations you have and some other video recommendations that you have we put of course in and uh, please go on the website because there i saw as well you put a lot of the the, the great ngos like um, green Nation, there's a there's countless of good indonesian um, ngos which deserves attention to be visited yeah I, I just to, to, to say a few, like even with this diet Kanton plastic, yeah, with the bye bye plastic bag, these are the people who are responsible for a big change. Yeah, I really want to say just. Utra. Really, thank you, Fred. For your, for your time, for your education. I learned a lot from you. And I think the audience learned a lot from you as well. Very happy, honored to, to know you. That, uh, again, a living proof how people can improve other people when they give their inspiration and their knowledge and their skill, their talent. And um, this, I really have to say, is a keep keep going. And um, you, this is more impact than many of us can imagine that this has. And um, please leave us some, some comments, some other questions, but I think we, we are answering everything what we can, we can get. Critique as well. I know, sorry, this interview was maybe not perfectly executed by me, But I, it's, it's all a process to become better, right? And jika kamu menjadi lebih baik setiap hari, if we get better every day, then we can we can really achieve something. Some some last statement from you. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, Fred. Thank you so much. Like uh, you really you really put your effort and energy into into like uh, helping spread the word from this film so i really appreciate it thank you thank you so much I, i i share to all my german friends especially <laughs> when the subtitles when we publish okay finish this week yeah <laughs> then i really i really try to spread this so it gets mm. uh, to at least in one or two german mm. uh, film art cinemas or something but please to all who are listening please yeah how to say it? don't underestimate indonesian movies i would even say Yeah, because the Indonesian um, cinema industry, the Indonesian film industry deserves much more attention. I don't, of course, we are not into comparing or something, but I just want to say this now living here five years that, yeah, we have to, yeah, we say in Indonesian, Dukung Film Indonesia, yeah, we have here, oh, wait, wait, I think I have the, <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Dukung Film Indonesia, <laughs> yeah. So I think every one of us, I think we can, yeah, really support some some good indonesian movies and and hard work like this really appreciate it thanks for the inspiration yeah really thank you and i hope to meet you very very soon in person that would yeah, be right. would be fantastic and have a good time in down under and biggest respect thank, thank you, you Fred. Yeah. catch thank up you. very soon and yeah. sorry again yeah for the short delay yeah no worries Fred. Let's Please let's meet up and then let's let's do collaboration together. I think like uh, and would be the biggest <laughs> honor. Whatever topic it is, if it's plastic or pollution, or yeah. even uh, another one, it would be really a big big honor. Awesome. Thank Just you, Fred. Keep going. Really, thank you a lot. Yeah, Atorno Won. Danke. Vielen vielen Dank. Auch danke für alle, die zugeguckt haben aus Deutschland vielleicht. Yeah. Thank you for all watching around the globe. Even when it's not so many, no problem. But um, I hope you will get more and more views on your um, your video, and you can even do more work, which inspires others. Yeah, keep going. I just want to say. Yeah, you too, Fred. You too, keep going in Indonesia. We will together. 
Have a good one, yeah? Yeah, Thank have a good day, time. Fred. Awesome. Have a great one. Yeah. See, see you. Yeah. Ta -da. Bye. Bye. Merdeka. Merdeka. Yes, Merdeka. <laughs>